guys welcome back okay so today I wanted to sit down and just talk to you guys a little bit about some of the products that I feel are my favorites from the year 2019 now although there weren't a lot of products that just knocked my socks off this year there are certain ones that I kind of just reach for repeatedly because I like them so much. So those are the products that I want to share with you guys today. At least ones that I think I have discovered this year, tried this year, and kind of fell in love with this year. So when I say my favorite products, these are products that work very well for me. Products where I know if I pick them up, they're going to do the job. They have never let me down and I feel comfortable saying yeah this is one of my favorite products and it works well for me and for some items i do have them pulled up on my computer screen so i can give you the full technical um name for it so because sometimes you know when you sit down to describe something at least for me i'm not the best at describing things all the time so it's like yeah this some good stuff <laughs> you know it is like okay well what does it do so yeah certain items I do have them pulled up so I can give you a more technical definition of what they do and just give you my thoughts on how it works for me so let's just run through right quick I want to start out with a couple of tools when I sit down to do my makeup for the most part you know it's face brushes beauty sponges um eyeshadow brushes stuff like that and I can't say I have a lot of favorites. There are certain brushes that I just run to and pick up every single time, but for the most part, especially when I'm doing my eyeshadow, I kind of pick whichever brush fits in with the look I'm trying to do. So I don't have a lot of favorite eyeshadow brushes, but one eyeshadow brush <laughs> that I use pretty much every single time I sit down to do my face is this brush here. This is from a set from BH Cosmetics. This is just the flat shader brush from the Marble Lux set. This is not a unique brush by any means. It's just a nice flat brush that you would use, you know, to lay down shimmers, cream shadows, things like that. I have to have this brush. I have a few of them, but I have to use this brush because I use it to clean up whenever I do my eyebrows. I use it for my concealer to clean up my eyebrows very precise very nice it just has the perfect denseness to do that and it works really really good to create a nice even smooth cut crease as well so this is one brush that i use pretty much every single time i do my makeup <laughs> next this brush i really hate that i fell in love with this brush it's a little dirty because of course i used it today but I hate the fact that I fell in love with this It Cosmetics brush. This is part of their Heavenly Skin line, I believe. So yeah, this is the It Cosmetics Heavenly Skin Skin Smoothing Complexion Brush number 704. I got this in my BoxyCharm, I believe. Definitely a monthly subscription box, but I think it was the BoxyCharm. And when I got this brush, I talked so much mess about it because this thing cost $48, okay? I don't pay that much for brushes, okay? But I am seriously understanding and realizing why this brush is $48. I love this brush. This is like the best foundation brush that I have ever used, okay? This is what it looks like. You can see here it is angled. It's a nice, firm brush, but it is flexible enough to get around, you know, the corners, when you do looks, you know, with eyeliner and stuff and you want to get around those lines and those eyebrows without messing them up, this foundation brush just works perfectly. It's just, it has a nice ergonomic fit for your hand and it's just nice and sleek. I really like the look of it as well. It's very, very, it looks very fancy, you know, at least it looks and it feels like, okay, this is a nice decent brush and so yeah i really like this brush it i wash my foundation brushes like every night you know after i use them um i need to get some more soap because the soap that i have right now is not doing the job for me this brush i love retails for 48 dollars. if you can get this on sale 
I would suggest checking it out. Okay, so next there are a couple of powder brushes that I always reach for when I sit down. This e.l.f. brush here, it's one of the ones from their line with the clear handle. This is the 101 brush. And this is just their precision powder brush. It retails for $12 on their website. As you can see, very nice size brush. It's really nice and soft, but it's not so soft that it won't apply your powder nicely and evenly on your face. So I really, really like these brushes. I have a couple of them. They work really well and I would definitely suggest, you know, if you're looking for a good uh, affordable powder brush, not too bad. And they look really nice too. I like the clear handle. It's very, very cute. Lastly, for tools, yo, the Shop Miss A AOA sponge. This is their Wonder Blender. I love these things. I have a drawer full of these things. Now, this is how they come packaged. I think they do have like a multi-pack now on the Shop Miss A website for these um, sponges where you can buy like six at a time or something like that, which is really good. They're only like a buck 50, you guys. And these things are super duper soft, very nice and precise. This is one that I just washed. So you can kind of see how big they get. <laughs> So it gets really, really large. They're super duper soft. They feel good. And they might last a good while. Like I said, I wash my beauty tools almost every day. And they they last a good while. I've been using the same one for quite a while and washing it. So, you know, I'm sure they'll break down fairly soon because, you know, they are cheaper sponges but they work amazing very affordable and i like them okay next let's talk about some skincare and all of them i got in my monthly subscription box okay all of them i do not buy any of this expensive skincare that's why it's so hard for me to stop my monthly subscriptions because they send out the most expensive bomb nice skincare to try so anyways this one here is the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow. And I'm pretty sure I got this in my Boxy Charm. And what this is, is it says here Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow Resurfacing Night Serum with Hydrating Honey and Gentle Flower Acids. Now, when I first used this, the first time I used it, I didn't quite understand exactly what it was going to do to my skin. Um, I put it on one night and although I did use a very small amount, it was tingling, like tingling, borderline burning, okay? And I was like, oh, is this supposed to do that? What's the deal here? But I was like, okay, let me use it. I read up some more on it and then I used it again. You're only supposed to use this like two or three times a week because what it is, is it truly is a resurfacing night serum. So you put this on in the evening after you finish your cleansing and your night routine and stuff or, you know, face routine. And it works overnight to resurface and regenerate and just kind of bring your skin back to life again so what it says here is it says that this is a three-in-one night serum that resurfaces hydrates and clarifies dull skin while you sleep formulated with 14 percent aha bha gentle flower acid blend so it does have an acid in it even though it's gentle it's still working to you know resurface your skin regenerate and you know i like this stuff I don't know what exactly it's doing to my skin, but whenever I put this on, you know, like I said, I don't use it all the time, maybe once, twice a week. When I wake up in the morning, honey, I feel like I look good, <laughs> okay? I do. A lot of times, you know, I wake up in the morning at my age, I look in the mirror, I'm like, girl, just go back to bed. Just, just go back to bed, try again tomorrow. <laughs> but when I use this stuff and I wake up and I look in the mirror, I'm like, Okay, this stuff is doing something, honey, because I feel like I look like 10 years younger. Next, I have here the Sunday Riley CEO Vitamin C Rich Hydration Cream. Okay, got this in my boxy charm as well. Maybe Ipsy. I don't know. You guys know one of them, okay? But when I first got this, I was like, oh, that's kind of thick. You know, I don't like using... I can't say I don't like using moisturizers that are super thick. I only like using them at certain times, which is usually in the evening because I don't mind 
doing washing my face and doing my skincare routine and then putting a thicker cream on at night because usually after I do my face routine I don't immediately go to bed so if I put a thicker cream on I can kind of let it soak in and really start working on my skin before I go to bed. So I like using stuff like this before I go to bed or on days when I wake up and I wash my face and it just feels like my skin needs an extra boost of hydration. Then I'll use a thicker cream like this. But I really like this. It, it nicely hydrates, it brightens, and it really feels good on my skin. So I like this Sunday Riley CEO, even though it is a thicker formula. Now two products you guys have seen me use in some of my videos before I put my makeup on. This is the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum. I got this in a monthly subscription box as well and I really like this serum. I mean it it really does make my skin feel like <laughs> like glass it just it feels really good it soaks into your skin but it just does give you a nice just healthy glow it feels good and it's really odorless to me I don't smell anything so I really like that about this serum it's not too heavy I think it does what it says that it's going to do and I like it so yeah this peach and lily glass skin serum love that the touch and soul pretty filter glass skin balm okay i fell in love with this stuff the first time i used it i was like what is this that i have been sent it smells good it has a very soft just kind of gentle relaxing smell to it it's a nice thick i don't know if you can see that but it's a nice thick cream as well so I don't use a lot of this. You don't need to use a lot of this, but it's not so thick that it weighs your skin down. It just makes your skin feel nicely hydrated and it makes you look just moisturized and youthful, I think. <laughs> I like it. You know, some people might feel like they look shiny with it on, but I think it's a nice healthy shine. A nice healthy glow comes from this, the Touch and Soul Glassy Skin Balm. Okay, now lastly, I do want to mention this e.l.f. Hello Hydration Face Cream. This is another favorite of mine. I like this just as much as the Glassy Skin from Touch and Soul. This one is, of course, much more affordable because it is from e.l.f. And, you know, I like to give different options for people who are on a budget, don't want to spend all that much on skincare because, honey, I don't spend that much on skincare. Like I said, I love the fact that I get that stuff in my monthly subscription boxes because otherwise I would never get to try it. I just don't spend that much on skincare. Elf works just fine for me. <laughs> so this is the Elf Hello Hydration Face Cream. I like to use this to moisturize my skin after I wash and um, do my routine. It just adds that hydration back in and it's not too expensive. Now let's move on to primers. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I hate to even mention this primer because of how expensive it is, but I'm sorry. My favorite primer is the Tatcha. This is their Silk Canvas Primer, okay? It just never does me wrong, you guys. I love this stuff. And I can't believe I finally hit pan. I hit hard pan on this mug too. <laughs> I didn't think I would ever hit pan on this, but I hit some serious pan and I'm going in on it, okay? But yeah, I love this Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. It smooths out my pores. This is one where it smooths out my pores and makes me feel like my skin is blurred, but my skin also still feels moisturized, which I don't typically feel in a mattifying primer. When I use mattifying primers, typically my skin does not feel moisturized or hydrated. It does with this. So unfortunately, this is a little pricey, but it is my favorite. Let's quickly talk about my favorite foundations. You guys probably already know the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop, okay? Ever since I've used this uh, foundation, it has been one of my favorites. If not my all-time favorite drugstore, this has actually knocked my Maybelline Fit Me <laughs> out of its spot. I really like this Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. I like the finish of it. I like the way it feels. It doesn't feel heavy on my face. It lasts all day for me, and 
I just like it. It's a nice matte finish and if I use most setting sprays my face does not feel dry or anything like that so yeah I really like this foundation it's a very nice foundation now on the higher end scheme of foundations that I fell in love with this year this Anastasia Beverly Hills luminous foundation I really like this foundation I like the coverage it took me forever and a day to find my shade match <laughs> i was in support for a hot minute trying to find my shade match in this foundation but i came close enough i feel um i really like this foundation nice coverage it lasts all day it plays well with my favorite concealers i like the fact that this works well with you know my drugstore or lesser expensive concealers Speaking of concealers, I have two that I would consider my favorites right now. The first one being the Juvia's I Am Magic Concealer. I like this stuff. I like the coverage. I like the shade. I use shade 11. It lasts all day for me. I don't have any issues with a whole bunch of creasing and just, I like it. It works for me. No issues. It blends out nicely. I really like it. And the other concealer that I like is the e.l.f. Is it 16 hour? <laughs> Y'all know I can't see. The e.l.f. Camo Concealer, however many hours it is. <laughs> but the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, I really like it. I just keep coming back to this stuff over and over again. Nice coverage. I love a really nice opaque concealer. I don't like sheer stuff. I don't like luminous and this and that and the third. Just cover me and blend out nicely and I'm happy. So I really like this very affordable concealer and it works. Okay, next let's talk about a couple of powders. <laughs> Another powder that I got in a monthly subscription box that I absolutely love. This is my Becca Hydra Mist and this one is the Set and Refresh Powder. Yo, I got this in my monthly subscription box and I was like, you know, I'm not going to like that because, you know, it's it feels, well, for mine, it doesn't anymore. But when I first used it, it had a really cooling effect. It felt wet. Like when you first open it and you first use it, it feels like you're putting something wet on your face. So it's very confusing because, of course, you're putting on powder. But it takes a little while to get used to. This is what it looks like. It has that netting in there. So it kind of helps you to not use too much, I guess. But what I do, I typically use this for the most part when I use a sponge. If I use a sponge to put on my foundation or my concealer, then I'll just take that sponge that's still, you know, barely damp with the concealer on it, tap it into the powder and set under my eyes. So I really like this powder. I didn't expect it to like it as much as I do, but it just gives me a very nice flawless finish wherever i use it on my face it's flawless under my eyes my forehead and nose you know i typically use it on my areas that i highlight and conceal and this stuff it makes you look airbrushed in person <laughs> okay so i like this stuff a lot i did this is one thing this is one of the only things that I purchased during the Sephora sale because I wanted a backup of it. So I like it that much. The other powder I fell in love with this year is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Complexion Powder. Um, I bought this to try out powder foundation because I never used powder foundation before. I used, you know, like finishing powders and stuff like that, but... I wanted to try a foundation powder to see if it would work for me. I have a lot of issues, discoloration and stuff. So I didn't really think a powder foundation would work for me, which I still don't feel that way. I will always use a liquid foundation. But as far as setting my liquid foundation with this, oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it, love it, love it. It sets my foundation super nicely and gives me an extra added amount of coverage. It took some learning, it took a little bit of um, trial and error for me to figure out how to use this best for me, because I used it with a sponge, I used it with the little applicator thing that came in here that I think I threw it away, because I used that and it was like too much, so 
yeah, it was like trial and error for me with this, but I got it now, honey, and I love this stuff. <laughs> okay, let's talk about a couple of bronzers, okay? The first bronzer I fell in love with this year is the Morphe Glamour Bronze. I use the shade Phenom. You guys know I love this stuff. I just look like a nice little caramel apple when I use this stuff. So yeah, I love it, love it, love it. It is a very nice bronzer, easy to use. It's very hard to overdo. You can build this up very nicely, very easily. And I don't know if it's really affordable. Um, I mean, it's Morphe for a bronzer. And I mean, I'm sure I use this stuff like crazy, you know, and, and I haven't hit pan or anything yet. So yeah, I would say it's affordable because however much it is, $20 or whatever, I think it's worth it. It's a great bronzer. Now this Hula bronzer, I don't know if I would pay full, full price for it knowing that I can buy the Morphe bronzer. This Hula bronzer is really nice. I have toasted and i got this during the ulta 21 days of beauty so i got it for half price and that was an excellent price for this i'm not sure how long this is gonna last i use this quite often as well but this is a great bronzer i like it <laughs> a lot it works very nicely it lasts on me all day it doesn't fade and it builds up very easily as well now for blushes, one that I immediately fell in love with this year is one that is in the Color Rain and Power Duo. Like I said, you guys have seen this on my channel <laughs> a million times before. This blush is just so pretty. It's so pigmented. It's gorgeous. I love it. It's so easy to use. I just love that blush. I also like this highlight as well, okay? This is just a really nice duo to have. It just really is. So I love this. This is definitely a favorite. I would grab this every day if I didn't have 5 million other blushes and highlighters. I would easily grab this every day. And a new favorite of mine is from the Revolution and Patricia Bright collab. This is her face palette. And I have the one that is Dusk Till Dawn, okay? So these are the shades in this face palette you get your blush you get your contour you get your highlight all of these I would definitely use they all work for me I don't have any issues with any of them love the blush love the highlight love the contour and it is very affordable and lastly I have to mention this okay because I feel like I got to get the word out this is the kiss glow and bronze powder now this is a bronzing powder but because it's so shiny of course i use this as a highlighter and for women of color these are amazing highlighters because the tone is it's like just a shimmery version of your own skin tone if that makes sense it's gorgeous it's absolutely beautiful and I mean, I just can't get enough of it. I really can't. I would put some on, but I ain't trying to, you know, I ain't trying to do the most right now. Yeah, this is a beautiful option for highlighter for women of color. And it was only like seven bucks. So yeah, definitely a favorite. Anybody ask me, no, you can't have it. <laughs> okay, quickly, brow and eyeliner. I have the same eyebrow pencil that I've been using for years. This is my LA Girl Slim Shady. I will never give this up. I will never even worry about trying anything new because this pencil, it just works for me. The color is blackest brown. It has a nice fine tip. I love the fact that it has the spoolie on the other end. It just works for me. So it's one of those things where it's like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So this will be my favorite until somebody forces me to use something else <laughs> and it works better now i have a new favorite eyeliner though my favorite liquid black eyeliner has always been the wet n wild because it is just so affordable so easy to grab from the drugstore and i like the flexible tip of it they have different tips felt tips um, brush tips and stuff. I like the brush tip because it's nice and flexible. I don't like hard, firm felt tip. I need my brush to be flexible, okay? But new favorite here, this NYX Matte 
liquid eyeliner oh my goodness i love this stuff and the reason why i don't necessarily love this formula better than the wet and wild i still love the wet and wild but what makes me love this nyx is the applicator oh my goodness the tip of this applicator is so thin so precise and with it being a brush it's nice and flexible so yeah i love this nyx I did buy a backup or two of this because gotta have it. And that one's actually been lasting me quite a while, so I'm happy about that. Okay, I don't typically have favorite lip products because I'm not a big lipstick wearer. I love to put on lipstick, you know, with different eye looks and stuff, but for the most part, I'm a gloss girl, so... Yeah, I usually just throw on some lip liner and gloss, which is what I have on today. But I do have to mention these LA Girl Velvet Matte Lipsticks because I really, really like these lipsticks. When I do use them, I mean, I love the way they feel. I love the way they go on, the color selection. They're affordable and I just like them. <laughs> okay, so let me just show you a couple of these. Okay, so these are two of the shades. Like I said, one is a gorgeous vampy plum shade and the other one is a beautiful bright red. And the reason why I like these is because I love a velvet matte formula. It just feels comfortable on the lips. They're nicely pigmented. And like I said, they're extremely affordable. So I do really like these. Really, really like them a lot. But you guys already know, I cannot talk about favorite lip products without mentioning my Ellery ColourPop Lip Liner. Y'all, I have backups on backups on backups of this month. <laughs> I have so many that I give them away sometimes to people that I really love and care about because I'm like, everybody needs to experience this lip liner. It's so bomb. I'm wearing it right now, okay? with a little bit of slow down on my lips from Shayla Collection with my other favorite lip product, my e.l.f. gloss. This is an e.l.f. lip plumping gloss. I love this stuff. I don't know if maybe I've just gotten used to it and I don't feel the lip plumping because I used to in the beginning, but I don't feel it anymore. I wear it so much. But yeah, these two, perfect lip combo for me, okay? Line with the Ellery and gloss it up with the e.l.f. and I'm good to go, good to go. Okay, so this year I've really been using a lot of different colored eyeliners in my eye looks. You guys know I love color and I love to add that extra pop with eyeliners on my lower lash line. So I did pick up quite a few of the ColourPop cream gel liners as well as the LA Girl neon liners. So I have various colors and shades in both brands. Um, eyeliners. I must say, gosh, it's hard to say, but I think I like the LA Girl Neon Liners better. It just seems like they go on a little bit smoother and they're extremely pigmented. The ColourPop liners work very nicely as well, but I kind of feel like I like the LA Girl a little bit better. Um, so yeah, these are some eyeliners that I've really been loving this year. All colors, all of them. I like them all. <laughs> Now, as far as setting spray goes, if I had to pick a favorite, it would be the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist because, honey, I use this stuff like crazy. This is probably like my third can of this stuff. I love it so much. It sets my face nicely. I mean, honestly, I would just use this stuff because it feels good and it smells good, but it actually sets my makeup nicely. I used it today and, my, you know, it sets me very well. It's like... It gives my face, I don't know, I still haven't figured out, like, is this supposed to be matte or dewy or, you know, just a natural finish? I'm thinking just a natural finish because whenever I use it, I don't feel matte or super dewy. I just like the way my skin looks when I use it. So I would definitely say this is my favorite setting spray. It's not cheap though. I don't like having to pay almost $20. What is it, $16, $18 now? I don't like having to pay that much for a setting spray, but I do it because I like it. Now, when it comes to eyeshadow palettes, I don't have a favorite eyeshadow palette. I have too many to say that I have a favorite. I use too many, I try too many. There's no eyeshadow palette that I just come in and sit down and grab every day. 
I just don't. So this first palette is one where it's like, okay, if my husband busts in the door right now and was like, okay, let's go to Vegas, grab a palette, let's go. This is a palette that I would probably grab because I don't have to think, you know, I don't have to think about it. It would be my Be Perfect Carnival XL palette. The range, the variety, it's just, there's not a look that I can't do with this palette. I'm sorry, if I want to do a blue look, a green look, a purple look, a red look, a smoky look, a neutral look, <laughs> there's no look that I can't do with this palette. A rainbow look, you know what I mean? So... This is a very easy palette when it comes to, I can't figure out what I want to do. Let me just sit down and grab something. It will be this. And the reason why I choose this one is because I love the formula. It's pigmented, easy to blend. I just like it. So this is an easy go-to palette. It just is. <laughs> no thought needed when it comes to this palette. Now, a couple of other honorable mentions when it comes to palettes because... There are a couple of palettes that just touched my heart this year. So I have two more to mention. This one is the Melt Muerte palette, okay? This palette here, it did something to me, okay? Just... <sighs> mm, mm, mm. And I know everybody is probably not as moved by this palette as I am. But these colors, they're just so rich, so deep, so beautiful that... Yeah, this... I would definitely say was a standout for me this year, hands down. This color story is just beautiful and I love it. And lastly, another honorable mention for palettes that I loved this year is this Melt Impulsive palette. I don't know, I guess I like Melt, huh? <laughs> But yeah, this Melt Impulsive palette. And this is a very awkward palette. It is not a palette that's like easy to use, easy to show. But the color scheme of this palette, I love it. I love the grunginess, the beautiful orange and yellow. The shimmers are really, really pretty in here. So yeah, I just, I really, really like this palette. I felt some type of way when this palette was launched and released and my girl Lily bought me this palette. <laughs> so yeah, this palette, definite honorable mention as a favorite. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors. So that's it you guys for the products that I would consider my favorites for the year 2019. I'm really excited to go into 2020. I you know, even though I am going on a low buy starting after the new year, after the sales end, okay? Whatever sales they have popping off for new years, I'm probably going to check them out just to be honest. But after all the January sales and stuff is over and I start my low buy, I'm really going to have my eye on trying out new brands, different brands, indie brands. I mean, I already love indie brands, but there's a lot of indie brands that I haven't been able to try out this year. So I'm really excited about that. Hopefully I'll be able to get my hands on some of the hot indie brand releases, you know, to kind of show you guys and try out with you guys. But there's a lot of different brands that are out and that are very well known that I haven't even really tried. So that's what I'm looking forward to in the upcoming 2020 year is trying out new brands. So the money that I do spend on makeup, oh, and I'm really getting into this whole depotting and singles thing, <laughs> single eyeshadows thing and organizing my stuff. So I'm really getting into that. So if you're kind of into eyeshadow singles and depotting and organizing and stuff like that, you're probably gonna see some videos from me on that. If you're not into that, my bad, but I'm really into it right now. So it just really makes me feel good to be able to go through different palettes that are just sitting here that I'm never going to use and just decide, okay, is this something that I wanna give away? Is it even worth giving it away? Or do I wanna go through and take out the five good shadows and put them in with my singles so I can actually use them. So that is really exciting to me. It's kind of like reacquainting myself with this makeup that I've been buying over the past two years and just kind of neglecting. So I'm really excited about my single eyeshadows and my depotting adventures. <laughs> but yeah, upcoming year, I want to try out new brands. 
uh, indie brands, brands that I've never tried out before, and just kind of see what's popping out there. So thank you guys so much for watching, hanging out with me to find out what my 2019 favorites are, and I will see you on my next video.